What's up gang, this is Ian coming back at you with another video this week. I First off, what I want to do is I want to apologize to all of you guys because I have been so, so ridiculously busy this last week. I have been a lot more silent on social media this last week than I have uh, previous weeks because I have been just ridiculously busy. So, um, to any of you guys that have gotten a hold of me through the band page or my personal page, I want to say sorry so I apologize and I promise I'll get back to you the next day or two I have a lot of catching up to do tomorrow so this week um, I'm gonna do another tour tales edition because I wanted to bring you guys a new video but I have so much going on I spaced on so much and I don't want to give you like a half-assed video so right now I'm just gonna tell you another good tour tale and uh, next week you'll get a really good, nice new video to help you out for your Motivation Monday. Uh, like I said, right now I'm at home. I'm actually working on some um, sound absorbers for our studio. So I got my rock wool safe and sound. I got my frames over here. Yeah, you can really see them a little bit. Some frames that I built. So we'll be putting a couple of uh, sound absorbers up in our studio since we're working on recording guitars and recording drums for this new record. So today I'm going to tell you the infamous show me your butthole story. So, okay. Um, this is probably six years or so, seven years maybe. It's been a while. Um, we were playing at a place called Osheki's Live in Columbus, Ohio, which was an awesome place. The guy who owned it, Sam, he was very, very nice to us all the time. Really cool place, a lot of, met a lot of really cool bands there, had some awesome times. And they had really good food trucks in the parking lot all the time. So what made it funny is that it was a metal club wedged between two Latino dance clubs. You can imagine how hilarious the conversations were while we were out there. We were loading in to the venue and there are two stages in the venue and one is to the left and one is to the right. The one to the right they didn't really use anymore. So that's where all the bands loaded. So we're loading in and uh, two guys that were in one of the other bands, they both had the same name, which was really strange. Mm -hmm. but they, and my response was, I'm not leaving till I see somebody's butthole. <laughs> which I really just wanted to say something just to entirely throw them off their game. And it did, which was hilarious. So. The night goes on, and I've had, you know, quite a lot of drinks at this point. And all the bands on that show were all bands that I handpicked. They were all friends of mine. So I knew everybody who played. And in between every band that played, in between every one of their songs, any time there was any bit of a break where it was quiet, you could hear me in the back yelling. Show me your butthole! The top of my lungs. Show me your butthole! Show me your butthole! I don't know why I was doing it, but I did it. And I wouldn't stop doing it. And uh, eventually, people started doing it. And two people, three people. Well, by the time that we went up to play, which was last, the entire club is screaming show me your butthole everybody and we're trying to play and the, I mean I'm talking it's 1 a.m. and there's 60 people in this club screaming show me your butthole at the top of their lungs and it was it it got to be such a thing where the owner Sam got on top of the bar put his hands on his ass cheeks and spread his ass apart and was like twerking on top of the bar. Everybody was losing it. I've never seen something so crazy in my entire life. Um, later on, we got done with the show and the, the whole crowd is still screaming, show me your butthole at the end of it. We get done and my buddy Josh, who was with us, he walks up to me and he goes, I have never in my life seen 
a room full of people come together with the phrase, show me your butthole. That everybody in there screamed it. And people still tell me about it to this day. There are friends of mine that go to other shows and say it to bands when they play. There are friends of mine that have met some of the bands that were on the show that night, and they still talk about it. And I think that's hilarious because I was literally just trying to say something to... I don't know. Just just to ruffle some feathers, honestly. But yeah, I was literally just trying to say some stuff just to ruffle some feathers and cause a big stir. And it did. Uh, later on that night, I think that's the same night we left. And I think we got pulled over. That might have been the night I thought I was going to jail. Maybe that was a different night. I don't know. So, if you ever go to Columbus or in that area and you happen to go to a metal show, I highly advise you guys start yelling, show me your butthole, between every song, every, every song, every little glimpse of dead space where you have a chance to yell something out, yell it, I promise. And if you're anywhere in the Columbus area and you're doing it, I guarantee, well I don't guarantee, I hope somebody recognizes it and commends you. Because they probably know me, and uh, that would just be hilarious. So, they keep going. coming back with a brand new, all-in-depth episode. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to talk about. There's a lot of things going on with Spotify this week that um, could be hugely beneficial to bands. So, I'm going to do a little bit more research and find out some stuff about it. So... Hopefully that will be maybe my next thing, uh, maybe how we can all advance ourselves through Spotify since that seems to be the way that everything is or has been for a little while. Um, if you guys have anything you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to make an episode about it or you can DM me, you can send us messages on Facebook, you can do anything that you want to do, just get a hold of us somehow. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit that button here or here or wherever it appears on your screen like the page subscribe turn your bell notifications on we appreciate everything and uh i'll see you guys next week later